Why is it always when I have to go see my family that my face is all swollen because it's been Friday night and I ate some junk food? I don't think this is even gonna help at this point. I'm just gonna remove half my makeup. These are charcoal tablets and uh, these have been a lifesaver. I have been struggling to digest most foods lately. Oh my god, it's so noisy this morning. My phone is going off, deliveries in the street. Super messy background because yesterday was Friday night and I just kind of pigged out in bed. But anyway, these are lifesaver and um, I'm gonna take a few with me today because it is my grandmother's birthday and we're going to Pizza Hut <laughs> and I don't know what my options are gonna be and I don't want to be the only one having a salad because honestly I have been so hungry from not being able to eat what I want to eat like no gluten, no dairy, no eggs see it's got this little compartments I don't think I need that much but you know <laughs> Cute little compartment, pill case. Uh, I'm all over the place. I'm getting ready to, to take off. Anyway, I start out in the morning with a pretty flat stomach. And then by the afternoon, I look about three months pregnant and taking these after like a meal that I feel isn't sitting right with me really really helps so i'm taking these with me and i'm for sure going to take a couple after my lunch today i'm getting ready to take the train i don't even know what train i'm gonna take that's how much of an airhead i feel today how i've been feeling all week I'm, i've been out of it you can see from my face like my dark circles are kind of back again i don't know what's going on i'm kind of scared i've been feeling so much better and now i'm kind of like what is going on with me again so this is something that i used to do every single morning for 30 minutes and it really helped me get better with loosening up my drawings and learning a little bit more with uh, human anatomy even though it was a class that was very good at the school that i went to since i was a full-on beginner i felt very stuck learning this subject whereas my classmates had some knowledge of artistic uh, anatomy when drawing so i hadn't done this for such a long time and i suddenly realized that i wanted to see if i was still able to do it and i was rusty as hell so I'm showing you this little sequence and doing a voiceover for those who might want to try their hand at gesture drawing, which is what I'm doing here. They're fast drawings where you don't focus that much on anatomy and you focus more about the silhouettes and the movement of the model. So the website I'm using is called lineofaction.com and it's such a good website and it's only getting better throughout the years. Before you only had the option to draw people and now you have uh, the figure, we have portrait expressions, hands, animals, I mean, you name it, they probably have it. And uh, you don't even have to necessarily draw only nude models, you can draw like covered models and you can choose between uh, draw only female models or only male models. They have a lot of options. What I usually do is do figure drawing, I choose all types of models, that way I'm not stuck in one category. I like uh, covered models so I can practice the clothing, the fabric draped over the human body but also full-on uh, human anatomy and what I usually do is uh, choose a 30-minute class mode where I will have 10 poses of 30 seconds so that really loosens you up your hand and your line you really don't have time to think so you see the pictures come up you have a few seconds to assimilate the figure and you just draw like very rough lines to represent the gesture of the person then you move on to five poses of one minute two poses of five minutes and one pose of ten minutes and that's usually what I go for you can go up to six hours if you're really motivated but I think the 30 minute window is really good to get you started at the beginning of the day. So for those who want to get started, that's how I would recommend you start is with this website called Line of Action. And if you feel like you're unable to detach yourself from the details and you feel very stiff, 
um, and unable to really go towards the gesture type of drawing, I suggest you watch a uh, YouTube channel called Proko because that guy has helped me so, so much with gesture drawing and he also is very good at explaining art, uh, artistic anatomy. So I hope you enjoyed my little uh, freestyle ramble here and maybe it will inspire or just resonate with a few of you out there. Okay, I know I look like a, a wet dog. My, it's morning, it's 8 a.m. As you can see from the lighting, it's like, yeah, it's early in the morning. Just washed my hair, checking my emails. That's how early it is, just starting work. And I get an email from Ancestry DNA, which is, if you can remember, from one of my most popular videos on my channel for some reason, is where I did that test, I don't know how many years ago, which revealed that I was like um, a quarter Indian, and I didn't know that. Not Native American, Indian from India. Um, and now I get an email saying that your results have been updated and I'm like, okay, what the hell is going on? Your ethnicity estimates have changed, like we've updated them and from what I can remember, I was mainly like European, a little bit English and a little bit um, Indian and I was like shocked to be more Indian and European that I was English if you can remember I'll insert a snippet saying that like I associated so much to being English uh, like British English from England uh, that it shocked me that I had so little in me England, Scotland, Wales I thought there would be way more than 6% I identif I fully identify as English even more than Belgian my main percentage is 47% and it's East England, East of England. So it's gone from being like, well, it still counts like a little bit of Belgium and Luxembourg and even a little bit of Switzerland, but the main highlighted region is United Kingdom, England, and a little bit of Wales. It says England and Northwestern Europe, but when you click on it, it's like 47% England. How can it change? How can, like, they've updated their regions and, like, there's 47% England, and when you see it's like east of England, and 16% Scotland. I mean, I shouldn't be this shocked. I really shouldn't be like shocked, but I, it's like a change. It's, it's changed from the last time. It's gone like, I'll have to compare it to the other results because I don't remember, but 47% England and Northern, Northwestern Europe. But like the highlighted part is full on England. Then Northern India and the highlighted part is in mainly India. Then Scotland, 16%, France, 5%, Germanic Europe, 5%, and Southern India, where Bangladesh and Sri Lanka are highlighted. This is crazy, and to think that it could even update itself more, and also to think that maybe like it could be inaccurate, like I don't really know how much, uh, like, what's the percentage for inaccuracy in there like what's the room for error the error margin but yeah okay it's changed again but i did associate to being very english so yeah. <laughs> i would love for my other family members like especially my brother because he looks definitely more indian than i do like i'm I look more English than anything except for my nose. I think my nose is the only thing that looks a little like Indian. My brother looks more Indian. He looks more like my dad. Um, so I'd be interested if to see if he could get the test. That was my one of the first emails that I opened this morning. Very, very interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> mm. 
もしもしもしもし、うん